Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. So, I've had this bandsaw for a few years now, and overall it has served me pretty well, up until a couple days ago when it quit working, and upon taking it apart, I discovered that this worm gear was completely worn down to nothing. Uh, it kind of surprises me that they would use a worm gear uh, speed reduction gearbox in this application in the first place, because Every mechanical engineer knows that worm gears are inherently a high wear component. And so typically you would only specify a worm gear either in a low cycle application where the wear just is not going to be an issue, or if you do have to use a worm gear in a high, you know, high wear, high cycle application like this, uh, I would expect it to be designed so that the gears are easily uh, replaceable and you're sort of treating the worm gear as a consumable item. But that is emphatically not what they did here. I was able to get this thing out, but I had to press the drive shaft back through the casing of the machine. Um, uh, and then I noticed that it was held in place by a cross pin that is slightly eccentric. Uh, so I strongly suspect that that was a match drilled hole, and even if I could get a replacement for this, that would probably be difficult to uh, replace. It's not going to be a drop-in replacement part. But that's kind of a moot point because I checked on the manufacturer's website, and while they do list this as a uh, replacement part, it's permanently out of stock. So I can't get a replacement from the manufacturer. And it's, uh, it appears to be a proprietary size. Uh, I can't find this size of worm gear available from any you know, standard supplier of uh, hardware and machine elements. So I think that leaves me with only one option if I want to get this saw operational again, and that's to make a new worm gear from scratch. Uh, which is what I'm going to attempt to do today. And I'm not sure what the probability of success is. Uh, I've never tried making a worm gear before. I don't really have the right uh, equipment for it in terms of specialized jigs and fixtures, nor do I have any brass uh, stock to make it out of. So I'm gonna make it out of aluminum, which uh, is gonna wear out even faster than a brass one would, if it works at all. But I figure we're going to give this a try as a temporary fix. Uh, hopefully it can get this saw back in action well enough to let me finish up the project I was working on here, and then I'll probably look at getting a better saw for future use. Now, that said, I, I've done a little bit of looking online already, and I'm surprised to see that even a lot of the saws that are significantly more expensive than this one appear to use a very similar uh, worm gear speed reducer to drive the pulley. So not really sure what I'm going to get for a replacement for this saw. But for today, I just thought I would go ahead and film the film of my attempt to make a replacement worm gear from scratch and we'll see what happens.
Well, I got the gear in and it's sort of working. Uh, as you can see, I've got it running with just a minimum of lubrication. Normally that gearbox would be full of oil. Uh, I just squirted a little bit on it. I'm actually doing that intentionally to try and wear it in. Uh, the profile of the teeth is close enough that it will work, as you can see, but it's also rough enough that there's a lot of friction in the system, and so I've taken the tension off the blade. I'm not driving anything except the, uh, the pulley without a load, and I'm just running it a little to try and wear it in and eliminate some of that friction. And for the moment at least, I've got it running and cutting again with the homemade worm gear. Well, I succeeded in cutting up all the angle iron that I'll need for my root cellar running the bandsaw on my aluminum worm gear. So if anything, that actually worked better than I expected. Initially, I was thinking of this aluminum worm gear just as a temporary fix to get my bandsaw back up and running so that I could finish cutting what I was cutting when the original worm gear failed. So at this point, I'm not really sure what my long-term solution is going to be. I mean, for now, the aluminum worm gear is still running just fine. Uh, it actually has not worn out as quickly as I was afraid it might. So maybe my long-term solution is just going to be making a new worm gear every few years and continuing to run the saw in its current configuration. Uh, or maybe I will modify the drive system at some point, or maybe I'll eventually just buy a better bandsaw. So, uh, more on this situation as it develops, I guess. But uh, for now, thank you for watching The Idahoan Show.